Hello, this is Jensi Pinyagua, TC Williams High School student, reporting for the Net Generation of Youth. In the past month, TCTV has been covering a range of events in the science, technology, engineering, and math fields. Let's take a look at how these programs help build tomorrow's great leaders and thinkers. First off was a visit to Virginia Commonwealth University to cover the TC Titan Robotics team in the For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology or FIRST Robotics competition. This international high school robotics competition has teams of high school students and mentors work during a six week period to build game playing robots that compete against one another individually and as a team. First, they're fun, uh, and they show everybody that science and technology and engineering is fun. Um, I started to come to this when I was mayor of Richmond many years ago, and then I would come as governor and bring my own kids to watch, and now it's really cool to come back. I'm on the education committee in the Senate, so programs like this that encourage people's interest in science and technology and engineering, it's, it's just, it's really an important priority. So that's why I always like to come every year. TCTV also went to the STEM on the Hill event held in the Russell Building in Washington, D.C. During the event, the team interviewed Senator Gary Peters of Michigan, who received the George E. Brown Award. Well, I'm here uh, to, uh, to get a, a wonderful award for the work on the American Innovation Act, and it's a, a real honor to be here. I am passionate about science and making sure that we're investing in research for the future, but also making sure that we're educating the, the next generation to, to be those future scientists and engineers and folks who are going to be transforming uh, our world. Considering that the youth are the future, what advice do you have for them? Well, my advice uh, is uh, to get a good technological uh, education about technology. You know, this is uh, the future. We're on the cusp of probably one of the most exciting times in human history. Uh, but we need people who are educated with uh, math skills and science skills, uh, engineering skills. And the future is very bright for young folks that seek out those careers. And they're, they're incredibly rewarding, not only intellectually uh, very rewarding, but can also pay well. It's, uh, it's a real win-win for young people. After the event, the team was invited back to interview Senator Cory Gardner from Colorado on his advice for students. So I, I hope and encourage everyone to pursue their dreams, to make sure that whatever roadblocks are put in front of them that they tear it down. You know, walls were meant uh, to be built uh, for us to go around, to go through, to climb, to accomplish, to conquer, they weren't there to stop us. So whatever you do, tear down that wall, go through it, charge through it, charge ahead. But we need your leadership, we need your voice, and certainly all of us are relying on the next generation. Finally, the team chatted with Barry Black, chaplain of the United States Senate, about his success. So how did you become this successful? I think that success is sometimes rather serendipitous. I was blessed to have a mother who exposed me to books very early in life. Someone said, if you want to hide something from an unsuccessful person, put it in a book. So my mother exposed me to books, and one of the books she exposed me to was the Holy Bible. I took the principles of Scripture very seriously, and there's a Bible verse in Proverbs 22:29 that says, Show me a person diligent in his or her business, he or she will stand before kings and not ordinary people. I took that very seriously and tried to develop a vigorous work ethic, and I think that that's one of the primary reasons why I have been able to achieve some small measure of success. More and more high schools from different parts of the country have been providing opportunities to students in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Surely this is a positive route for the country to be more competitive in this new technological world. Well, I'm Jensi Pinyago, a T.C. Williams High School student, reporting for the Net Generation of Youth.